Hey guys, this is Jody with Only Have One Life to Live. Today we're going to look at the 2023 Grand Design Momentum 410TH. Okay guys, this is the Grand Design Momentum 410 review and tour. Okay, we come down to the generator bay. We've got a couple of battery banks there. We've got a 55 Onan, 5500 Onan generator. We've got some uh, solar on the roof, looks like, and hydraulics in there. Everything you need to know about this video is in the description below. Got propane bays, and then here we've got a large uh, pass-through storage area with a radio in it. Huge pass-through area, all your battery disconnects. Outside, not much storage on the outside of this thing. Um, again, 2023 Grand Design, Momentum 410TH. This is the toy hauler version, MSRP 176, 247, show price 149.98. Why don't we go inside and have a look, but you can see already, we've got a radio and a TV outside. Remember to like and subscribe. It costs you nothing, but it means the world to us. And we're going to go inside real quick and check this thing out. All right, come into the living room. And you have this huge straight bench over here, which you can trade out for other things. You've got a pantry over here. You've got a pantry, top. All of your one control stuff, I suspect, is right up here. Or either this is, yep, there's a radio anyways, and a USB, and there's some places to put stuff. You've got a full-size residential refrigerator. you got your TV straight away from the couch over here, instead of sort of uh, angled like it was before over there. Now it's straight ahead. Yeah. Turning your neck. That was a good call by Tara and Chad to do that. Hey guys, let us know in the comments below what you think about this RV. I guess you got a little more room so you can do that. Let's go up into the uh, bedroom and the bathroom here. So there's the bathroom. It's a nice fiberglass one-piece shower. It's got a little bit of a tub area there. So if you had to wash a dog or something in there, you could get enough water in there or a baby or a small child. You could get enough water in the bottom to give them an actual bath. Nice little shower head. You got a sink over here. And this is one of the key decisions I think that Tara and um, Chad made here was, uh, do you have a double vanity or do you use this area to put a bathroom? And they chose to put a bathroom. I think, again, another good call. I do uh, wish I had the bed. old Grand Design closet that they were kind of known for instead of this. In the bedroom here. So we've got a king or a queen bed. You can pick your choosing. You got plenty of storage over here for all of your desires to go in. You've got a lift top here. You got a lift top there. More storage. Small TV above. And of course, here you have your washer and dryer will go in there, maybe. Uh, no, washer and dryer goes so. in its center. That's just more storage washer and dryer. They redid their closet system. Yeah. So this is washer and dryer prep so you have to use that space. Take out the shelves. Yeah, take out the shelves and you use that for and washer and then we got and a little bit of closet on each side. And a little bit of closet on each side. With drawers on the bottom. So gone is there are shoe shelves and all that that was in the back of the closet. They've done what? Remember the big grand design closet. Oh yeah, the one you almost that walked had all in. The, the cedar lined one. Yes. I gotcha. It works good in here, that's for sure. That's good. Hey guys, if you'd like a more detailed video, just click the link on the top and uh, we'll make sure we get you over to a more detailed video. And then back out to the kitchen area. There's a little bit of loft area like there was before on the 397. Uh, so that makes a great pantry or something for small kids uh, to get up there. Oh wow. Not really a good place for adults to go. And then out to the garage. And in the garage area, you've got it's like a half bath. Yeah, you got a half bath out here. For the window. 
optional half bath. Yeah, optional half bath. You got your TCL TV out here. <clears throat> and of course you can uh, modify this and if you want a happy jack system um, to you know be desks or whatever like, uh, like we did in our 399TH or like Chad and Tara did in their 397, then you can certainly do that as well. Take those seats out and put desks over the Happy Jack system. And then outside, of course, it's a normal thing here on your deck. And there you go. There is a quick tour of the 499TH. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Cork board over here and your Leaper One control. Now, we had a bad experience with Leaper One control in the past, no secrets. Um, it didn't respond that fast to us, so let's see if it's any better. I press the button, press the button again. Monitor panel. Just slow in response. Finally, HVAC controls come up. The lighting comes up. You can see the delay in this switching screens here. It knows it's been depressed. I had to press it three times. So this is the typical Leaper control, guys. One control. I would, I'm not happy with it. It's the one thing about this coach that I would tell Grand Design is to drop Leaper one control, get away from it, go to Firefly or some other technology. We hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time.